Hey everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and today we are going to do a product review of the RGB Link M1, but more importantly, we're gonna talk about latency and image magnification, specifically in churches, and how to reduce latency so that when you're looking at that projector screen, the image matches up with the camera in real time. So let's look at this product. It's a really cool product. The reason why we're looking at the RGB Link M1 is it really makes video scaling and mixing more accessible and intuitive than ever before. Uh, it has technologies that are quite innovative and it's an all-in-one video processor similar to some of the black magic devices that you might have seen it does some cross converting and scaling for pixel for pixel uh, video outputs that we really think are great it has a four inch touch screen and it's got a great little live controller t-bar there you can see and uh, here's the, the 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 unit right here you can store multiple presets you can have a logo and you can even do a simple picture and picture Picture. So you can do some really nice logos. It even supports chroma key. And uh, this touchscreen controller here, I've really found is quite nice. There's a lot of menu options here, allowing you to add effects, blending, and then of course this, this nice T-bar here for transitioning back and forth. And uh, as you can see here, we've got a full bank for program. We've actually got a complete button for having logos. If we want to put our logos there, uh, the T-bar is really nice and it does support embedded audio. So we can have audio sources coming in as well and uh, send that out. So I've got a little presentation here I want to show you guys about why we're looking at this product in particular. Um, image magnification, especially in churches, you know, we, a lot of our customers are using our cameras in churches. And I want to talk a little bit about latency because I did some latency testing on this device to show how you can set up a church streaming system that has overflow monitors and potentially large projectors showing what's going on in your church and how to minimize latency so that everything is, is hopefully completely in sync. Now, there's no way to completely eliminate latency. Obviously, there is always going to be a little bit, but using a video switcher like this or like the Blackmagic switchers, you know, there's other switchers like this, but there's some simple audio visual design principles I want to show you on how to really make this work. So first of all, how did we even test the latency? Well, what I did was I took a YouTube video. This is a nice little test for you guys that you can do if you're having issues with audio sync or image magnification latency. You can put a YouTube video that has, you know, minutes, seconds, and, and more importantly, milliseconds, because that's what we're really testing here. We don't want it to be a full second late. Uh, and there is always a little bit of latency when you're using audio visual equipment to so just keep that in mind. So what you do is you take your camera and you turn it on as fast as the shutter speed as possible. The shutter speed I had was one six thousandth of a second. So clearly, you know, that's not going to have any latency there. It's so minimal. And what we do is we take a picture of the video playing on the computer, which is outputting into the, the LCD screen, so just a computer screen. And by doing that, you can see we got two numbers. We have, uh, we have basically uh, 358 milliseconds and 293. And if you subtract 293 from 358, you get 65 milliseconds of latency. That is very, very minimal there. So that's 65 milliseconds of latency. If you've got that uh, going up to a projector, no one's going to be able to notice the difference between, let's say, the pastor who the camera zoomed in on and what's going on there. It's going to be so minimal. This is like less than 10th of a second that um, no one is going to be able to, you know, notice the difference. So remember, 100 milliseconds is a 10th of a second. 1,000 milliseconds is a second. So I tested plugging the, the uh, computer into the RGB link and doing a secondary test where the RGB link now is outputting directly to the television. And that gave us roughly 128 milliseconds of latency. So a little bit more, but still under almost a tenth of a second. And this shows that it's a very high quality product. We're literally having very minimal latency. And this is a good range of latency for image magnification. So I want to look at now when we plugged the camera into our live streaming software, we were testing with vMix, but we also tested with OBS and we got, OBS even had higher latency. So vMix was really low at like 300 and uh, OBS was going up to 500. Now you're at like a half of a second of latency. And I wanna show wh where you can kind of uh, avoid this type of situation. So 
If you are having your live streaming system, this is the way that a lot of people have it set up. So you've got your camera plugged into a capture card, plugged into your live streaming software, and then your computer maybe is outputting to the projector. Well, the computer is usually the source of the most latency, and that's where we're getting quite a lot of latency there. So if we actually put the RGB link spectrum before the projectors and feed the output directly into the computer, we are now taking the computer out of the chain. So we can achieve that, you know, 10th of a second latency as opposed to the other way around, which we looked at here, the other way around being uh, this way here. And I think I have it there as well. This is probably not the way you want to do it because you don't want to be adding all that additional latency into the computer and then back out. So it takes a little bit of thought to plan something where you're going to have the uh, video switcher upstream, upstream from the projectors, the HDMI uh, extension systems that you're putting in to feed the video to these computers. But we found that the RGB link is a great product for this. And not only that, it works perfectly with the PTZ Optics cameras at 1080p 60, 1080p 30, whatever resolution you're trying to use. So this is a great product. We're really happy with it. And I just wanted to share some of those latency testings with you guys and give you that, that kind of overview. Think upstream of your live streaming system because live streaming computers just adds additional latency. You can still use the computers, but with an image magnification uh, system, you want to take as many things out of the chain as possible. Possible. And if you're trying to switch video inputs so that you want maybe want to switch from a projector or sorry, on the projector, you may want to switch to a PowerPoint slide and then back to a live camera. You don't want to have all that feeding into a computer and then back if latency is going to be you know, something of utmost importance with that image magnification. So I hope that is helpful for a lot of churches out there trying to set up systems like this. Think about putting that um, that video switcher before the computer and uh, hopefully that makes sense leave comments below if you have any questions that's what we recommend and i hope that it's a uh, it, it it's it's entertaining for you this is a great little product there are other video switchers on the market so i just wanted to share that kind of like piece of advice and let you guys know that we've tested this one with the ptz optics cameras it works great. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great video tutorials coming out specifically for churches and also technology related uh, tips and tricks. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and share this video with someone in your church.